you're about to use your impact driver and then this happens. The first thing we need to do is remove the retaining ring. Now I suggest you use a small flathead screwdriver in order to pry that retaining ring out of there. Now this is a little bit tricky and you can see here how I'm trying to get that ring out of there and eventually I do get it out but you have to go ahead and make that screwdriver go underneath the ring and then pull it out. And as you can see the retaining ring came out, there's also a spring, a washer and then there is a sleeve. This is also the same order that's going to go back in, it has to go back in exactly the same way you took it out. Again, you have the sleeve, you have the spring, you have the washer, and then the retaining ring. And all has to go back the same way you took it out. Now the most important part is this ball bearing that you see here and the spring. That's what keeps the bit in place and the bit from falling off. And what ends up happening is that spring doesn't have any tension anymore. It doesn't keep the ball bearing in place and then the bit falls off. So I just took off that spring and we're going to replace it with a new spring. And if you look in the description, I do have links to the springs and some of the parts. So you can see here the new spring, how it has a little V, a little notch. And the old one, you can clearly see that that notch broke off. When that little notch breaks off, it doesn't hold the ball bearing in place. And then your bits become loose and fall off. It's important when you put the spring back in there that you put it in the right way. And as you can see, the V is facing out and the V, the bottom of the V is actually going to go inside that hole. And then you're going to go ahead and put the ball bearing like I'm doing here. And the ball bearing is just going to fall between that V and stay there. You can actually see the ball bearing moving inside where the bit goes. So once you put the sleeve over the spring, that's what creates the tension to hold that bit in place and prevent it from falling off and from being loose. This problem is very well known with the DeWalt impact drivers and I suspect other drivers as well but that's what happens here. That little spring just breaks off that V and it doesn't create the tension to hold the bit in place and eventually the bit just falls off. Again pay attention how this spring goes. The bottom of the V faces towards the inside where the bit goes and then the ball bearing goes on top. So you can see the open end of the V is facing you and then the bottom end of the V faces inside that little hole where the ball bearing goes. So it's very important that when you put this together uh, that you do it this way. Again, these are the parts that are responsible for keeping that bit in place and that bit from falling off. And I was just testing to make sure that that ball bearing doesn't fall off um, and it's there the right way. This is a very important component to keeping that bit in place and preventing it from falling off. So do spend a little bit of time to make sure that you have that in there the right way. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just testing it, making sure that ball bearing doesn't fall off, that nothing is loose. So once you're satisfied with these two components, the next thing to do is go ahead and rebuild it back. And initially I was going to put this spring on here first, but I remember that's not the right way to do it. So what you want to do first is you want to put the sleeve, the spring goes inside the sleeve, and then the washer goes on top of the spring. It's important that you have things in the right order or else it's not going to work properly. And the problem with this now is notice how we have the sleeve, the spring, the washer and the retaining ring all on top of each other. And now somehow we have to push everything down at once until the retaining ring locks in place and keeps the spring from popping back out again. So this is very difficult and I spent some time doing this. This is without a doubt the most frustrating part and it could drive you crazy. So one of the things you could do, a tip, is you could go ahead and set your impact driver on the vise. That way you don't have to worry about balancing it and work it with two flathead screwdrivers and try to push it down. As you can see, I did not do that. I did this the stupid hard way and I really struggled getting that uh, spring down and locking it in place. As you can see here, I finally started getting that retaining ring into place and I'm just working it all around, but you just gotta have patience and try to work that retaining ring in there. While you're doing that, that spring is loaded and trying to pop everything out, but you're trying to get that retaining ring in the slip here and it's very, very hard to get it in that lip as you can see, but you gotta have patience, you gotta keep trying it. Eventually what I did was I loosened up that retaining ring and I just basically stretched it out and tried to work it out like a corkscrew and basically see if I can put some of those retaining ring ends underneath that lip there. And slowly that's what I started to do, twisting my way around the lip and holding it with my fingers and using that flathead screwdriver as you can see here. And eventually it popped underneath the lip and it stood there as it should. So here you go, you can see it. 
and now everything is in there I will test it with a bit and you can see with a bit it's in there it's not loose it's not coming out and it works so you just gotta have patience and you gotta work that retaining ring I think that's the hardest part and make sure you put things back the right way and you should have a working impact driver again thanks for watching I hope this is enjoyable and you learned something and please subscribe for more videos